He says, if on the cross saved without baptism, Whenever you teach the biblical doctrine of baptism, many people object, saying, well, the thief was saved without baptism, so I can be too. Well, if we look to the scriptures, which we must, John 12 and verse 48, for they'll judge us, we find that there's a little bit of a problem there. You find that the, the thief lived before Jesus' death. But at Jesus' death, Colossians the second chapter and verse 14 tells us the old law was taken out of the way, it was blotted out, and there was a new law that was ushered in, the new covenant that Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18 through 20, would in fact last till the end of the world. And by the way, in that, he commanded baptism. Well, whenever you look at the thief, he lived prior to Jesus' death. Jesus appeared to him directly, which will not happen today. The apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 8, that he last of all appeared unto him. But after the time of the cross, you find that even as he appeared unto Saul, who would become Paul, whenever he asked, what must I do? He was told to go into the city and it'd be told what you must do. In Acts 22 and verse 16, Paul records that Ananias came to him and told him, why tarriest thou, arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. So we find that baptism was commanded after the cross. The thief lived before that. Was he baptized? I don't know, and you don't either. I'm not told that John's baptism was prevalent, but it really doesn't matter because the new covenant, according to Jesus, will last till the end of the world, and it is that covenant which he commanded baptism, which was Acts 2 and verse 38 for the remission of sins. It was Acts 22 and verse 16 to wash away your sins. It was according to him in Mark 16 and 16 to be saved. It is that act by which, according to Galatians 3, 26 and 27, we enter into Christ. One has to wonder, why do we fight so much against what Jesus said? The thief accepted what Jesus said on the cross. Saul accepted what Jesus said on the road to Damascus. Well, I accept what Jesus says to me through his word. If I love him, I will, John 14 and verse 15. Thank you for listening. If we can help you further study this, feel free to contact.